Hey everybody, Patty Tolly Parish here with a uh, relatively quick video tutorial. Um, actually, YouTube style, not doing a Ustream tonight, just trying to do something quick that people have asked me for. Um, the sample is what I call a patina print. Um, and of course, the two that I really like, I think I might have given them away. I have pictures of them. You can see them on my Facebook page if you are a member there or if you'd like to go there it's called inky obsessions and you'll see uh you'll see my patina prints there um but i'm going to show you how i do this real quick uh it's pretty easy but to get started i need to get my jelly plate kind of messed up so i figured we just go make some prints and take it from there so not being too particular but one thing i'm going to do that helps the patina bit is to mix in a little bit of my PBO uh, Dyna colors with the prints that I do. So when I when I pull that print and not really clean off the plate but get some of that goodness off the plate after I go for my pop of black is when the patina happens. So I want to get to the point where I make a couple prints and what do we have here? <clears throat> make a couple of prints, get the plate a little dirty and then go for a pop of black and I'll show you the magic <laughs> it's magic to me because I'm rather simple minded so it doesn't take much anyway I'm just gonna mix up some colors here All right. if I wanted to get, get a, a new color I want to see some of that depth in there clean off my trusty brayer and let's just throw down, oh look, what do you know? It's a Patty Tolly Parish stencil. How lovely are they, you ask? Where is it, where is it? Oh, I gotta turn it around, I forget. My webcam is one direction and this cam is another. Look, Patty Tolly Parish stencils. This one is called Pac-Man Infinity. You can get these at iStencils.com, by the way which you haven't, you really should. They're made especially for the jelly plate. Now, with that said, I want to show you that this jelly plate that I'm using, see that cut edge? This is the jelly plate that I cannibalized out of my original 12 by 14 way back when I got my first plate because I thought that was too big before I realized, hey, you numbskull, do fabric with that one or don't put paint on the whole thing. I decided to cannibalize it and make it eight and a half for my best attempt at eight and a half by 11. So I got prints to the edge of the page. But if you're smart, you don't want to do that because you're, you know, it's an expensive jelly plate to cut up, but again. So I don't have my eight by 10 plate to demo on, which my stencils fit exactly because I made my stencils to fit the eight by 10 and the six by six jelly plates. So you get design from edge to edge in your jelly plate. Now you're not going to see that part tonight because this is eight and a half by 11, but I wanted to explain that because I get a lot of questions about that. So let's just, let's just get her going. Give it a little schmush and zhuzh and elbow grease. This one's got kind of skinny lines, so I want to really give it some pressure and try to push that paper down through the stencil and let it touch the paint on the plate. So I get a fairly decent print. Oh, hello lover. You can't hate that. Look at that PBO shimmer in there. Cool design. Ah, if I must say so myself. I don't usually get to zoom, so I'm going to zoom the heck out of this video because I don't use this camera all the time. Cool, huh? Okay, so there's a print. Throw it over, throw it somewhere to dry. I don't think there's enough in here, but I'm going to see if I can get a dusting out of this, if nothing else. Clean that design out of there. A little bit, a little ghosty print. Now, if this was my 8x10 jelly plate, um, that design would be going right to the edge of the plate. And now I have the reverse. So I like to take 
clean piece of cardstock. This is just 110 pound cardstock I buy by the ream at Staples. Nothing fancy. Put it on there. So I'm going to pick up what's left in the plate on the back of this, or the front, however you want to look at it, and all the paint left on the back of the stencil. This is as much as my stencils get cleaned off, is right here. Whatever is wet will stick to the paper, and whatever is not will color my stencil stencils very lovely colors over time. And I haven't ruined one yet, so there you go. But all this paint was wet on the back of the stencil, so I just cleaned this off enough that I can throw it back in the pile. Pull this, cleaning off the plate so I get the reverse image. But see how if I'd have had that centered, I would have gone completely to the edge with that plate. And that's why I cannibalized it. I know, I've done smarter things maybe, probably, I don't know. But I, I'm glad I did, because I, really like, I really like it when I use it like that. So I wasn't broken hearted about it too much. Okay, let's throw something a little contrasting on here. And I'm just using acrylic paints. This is, I love this color. It's called Yellow Deep by Master's Touch. Where the hell am I? Let's just go this way and I'll flip the video. How about that? <laughs> okay. And let's do some of the PBO. This is red blue. And I gotta watch what I'm doing here with my mixture because I don't want too much with that blue. I kind of have all the primary colors there. Um, I have the yellow, of course, and some red, but the shimmer in there is blue. So I might get a little smushed up brown. So I'm going to put a little bit of whatever that is, Naples yellow. That's one color that looks different by every brand, I think. It's Naples yellow. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. A little too much paint. I know that's not a shocker. If you watch me, you know that I get a little juicy on the paint sometime. Out, the, out of all the thousands of prints I've made, I still do. And I'm going to take this one and let's um, let's go with this one that pulled up that ghost print of that green shimmer in there, right? And let's grab some of this over top of there for a layer. There you go, a little layer and a layer there. And let's try, let's get something cleaned up here. There's a lot more paint left in this one. There was quite a bit of paint left in there still. Throw that to the side. Now I'm going to do my cleanup print. But I think what I'll do is I like this right not overly wild about that but let's do this let's make a double sandwich this is going to look pretty cool so I'm going to put that over the one I'm not wild about All right and I don't want to mess this one up just yet because if I make a, one of my jelly journals which by the way is the reason that the project that I'm getting published in cloth paper scissors for my jelly journal um, I might want this for, that's a nice journaling spot. You can put words and stack a sentence down there or whatever. So I'm going to take a clean piece, call it a Big Mac, double, double dipping club sandwich here. And then this one on top, clean off that wet stencil. These stencils by eye stencils, this, these are, I'm using all my designs by the way, um, tonight. So, um, I, and I have tons of other stencils as you know and I love them all and use them all but I um, wanted to introduce some of the people that might not have seen my designs or know that I have any uh, line of stencils so you can join in the fun if you'd like so there's just clean up the stencil right not bad not bad and then the back of this Is the positive part of that stencil. The negative and positive. No, actually, that's both negives. What the hell do I know? Ah, only made four million prints. 
I'll get it right one of these days. Okay, let's do, let's do something bluesy, turquoisey, shall we? A little bit of this. I was running low. I got some new new tubes of this in. God forbid I run out of my PBOs. It's like a day without sunshine. I'm telling you. Ooh, whoops! A lot of paint there. Let's see. Let's throw a little purple in there. Nothing bad can become of that. This is so weird. I haven't done a regular YouTube video in so long. I keep looking over at the computer to see who's saying what on my chat. There's no chat. Let me see if I can get a little bit more of this off of there. Scooch this over here and I'll use this to clean my brayer for a while. Okay. I got way too much paint. Lord, don't follow me, people. I wonder if I have to buy so much damn paint. Ooh, but look how pretty you are. Little collage paper in my future. <laughs> Mucked that up pretty good, didn't I? And this is one of my favorites. Orbits. This one's called Orbits. This is also one of mine. And these are found at, I'll put a link uh, up, but it's iStencils.com and then look for Patty Parish Stencils and you will find them. Oh, and I have rubber stamps to match now. I have rubber stamps in the same elements as my stencils, but those you can find on my Etsy shop, which is Inky Obsessions as well. I'm kind of inky obsessions everywhere. My blog, my Facebook art page, um, my Etsy shop. So you can see that was too much paint. See how it kind of squidged up? But I believe in the world of mixed media, we call that texture and we love that. My cord's in my way. That's kind of why I'm holding this funny. I'm trying not to jiggle the camera too much. But I got a ton left there. And I'm going to get that. I'm going to get it. I might get it on top of that. Shall I? What the hell? It's only paper. If I don't like it. Not a big loss. I have another ream minus one sheet to play with. So, But I might really like it. And if I didn't try it, I would never know that. Let's see. Do we like it or do we don't? We don't. Nope, not liking that combination. Kind of lose the orbit. But you'd be surprised. We'll pop that with some black in a little bit. We'll be surprised at what comes out of that. We can still save it. Grasshopper. Let's see. Let's do we'll orbit. All right, let's do this. Let's put the, oh, look at you, yummy. Let's put this down here. That's already dry. Oh, great, got my turquoise hands on it. Oh, that's okay. You'd think I've never touched a jelly plate before. Now you can see that design pretty well. I love that. There's several different designs. I have a large one. I have, um, this has got four big orbits with a design in the middle. Uh, I thought there was another one. Oh, maybe it's coming out in this next bunch. So I should be having another uh, batch of stencils, and I'm guessing probably another three dozen designs released sometime in August. And if you're going to create in New Jersey next week, next week, yay, I'm going to have a table at the vendor night, and I'm going to sell my eye stencils and my um, rubber stamps. So if you're there, Come by and see me. Wow, there's still a lot of paint on there, but ooh, look at that PBO shimmer in there. Can you see that? Yes, you can. There we go. This camera gives me a lot more options of seeing that kind of stuff. So I'm going to take a clean piece and just grab some of this off there. Not cleaning the plate. I just want the wet blobs gone for now. Kind of keep up with it. For my purpose of the video, which is to show you the patina prints, but see there was that much more wet paint on there, but that's okay. That'll make a cool, when I add more and more to it, that'll make a really cool um, note card and envelope. So let's see, 
Let's do, oh, tribal squares. That's a good one. I like that one. This one's tribal squares. I love this one. Um, well, I guess I kind of got to love them all since I made them, right? I mean, how can I not? Let's do something dark and tribal. Let's go like a gradient from the corner. See how that works. Try to use less paint, nimwit. Let's see how that works now. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. That's going to be a mistake, but that's okay. I'm going to try to keep these areas their own color. And this has nothing to do with the patina print, mind you. I'm just making some prints to get my plate and my prints to the stage of where I would do my pop of black. And then that's where the patina part comes in. So. Ooh, how pretty are you? And then this brown. Let's get this in its own little corner up here. And I'm going to blend that a little bit so I've got paint everywhere. Gosh, way too much paint. Patricia, Patricia. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, tribal squares. Here we go. But I like that gradient look. That usually comes out pretty cool. There we go. Let's go with a clean sheet. And I got a lot of paint on there. I'm going to use kind of a light touch. I think the second prints. That's the one. The first, especially with my heavy touch of paint. Oh, okay. So I hardly pressed it all and I got hardly nothing. However, that can be saved. Now I'm going to go with another one and I'm going to print it like I mean it. Going in for what's left on there. You can see the paper starting to curl a little bit, so I know it's kind of wet. And there you go. That's kind of cool. That gradient look there. You can see the PBOs and the dark brown. All right, not bad. I still got quite a bit there. I've grabbed most of this though. Um, let's see. Actually, I'm going to do just a regular old clean sandwich. Ooh, still a lot of paint on there. You know what? I'm going to just go really light there and see if I get any shade of that for like a background print. Oh yeah, look at that. Sometimes I actually put extra paint on there because I want to pull several prints and I go by the feel of it. I kind of lose track on what I'm doing when I'm doing a video and kind of put too much on there. Not really thinking because I'm yammering. But it doesn't make me a bad person. <laughs> See, I said quick video. I'm already up to 18, 19 minutes. And I've showed you nothing in reference to the subject of the video. <laughs> this should be a pretty good print. But look at that design. Isn't that cool? Tribal squares. Again, these are made just for the 8x10. Well, you can use them on anything. You can use them on a card. But I designed them so if you did jelly plate, you got a full print edge to edge on an 8x10 plate. And then the same designs in a six by six stencil. Oh, look at you. Hello, lover. That's pretty cool. As well as this side. Kind of an interesting print. That's kind of wet. I'll put that one off to the side. And here's another one of my faves. Well, I guess they're kind of all my favorites since I designed them, right? You know what I mean? Um, let's do, let's do, let's do something, even if it's wrong, as my husband would say, let's get orangier. 
So this is PBO. Uh, these are the, the ones I'm using are the Dynacolors. Hello, where the hell's the camera? There we go. The PBO Studio acrylics. And they say Dyna on the side. And you can see that this one is iridescent orange yellow. So it's orange paint with yellow iridescent. There's green blue. This one's yellow green. Green yellow, sorry. Green yellow. The first color is the color of the paint. And the second color, the color of the iridescence. Little pop of that. Little pop of the red. You know what? I might just do the. No, this one's kind of bright too. I want this one's kind of bright and contrasty. It's got a lot of got a lot of dark going on. I have made quite the mess over here, people. I'm telling you, you'd think by now I'd have a hang of this, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, don't think too much about it. Yeah, there goes the phone. Why don't you be mumsy? Oh, no. Okay, let's do... This one I call Outback. Yeah, I'm unavailable. How about that for a call? No, oh, that's my, my wipe up sheet. So let's do, hang on, let's do something. I bet that would look cool over this one. Let's try it. I think this one's dry enough. Kind of cool on there. You can see the PBO in the green and in the orange. Ooh, I like that. I do, I do. Let's see, what do we have here that I can put this over or under? Is that dry yet? No, it's still a little bit damp, which is not my best effort. It's still damp. This one's kind of dark. Let's do. It's got kind of interesting texture in it, though. I don't know if I want to cover that up or not. And again, it's paper. Here we go. Screw it. Oh, I mean, never mind. <laughs> oh. Clean stencil. Oh, not good. Oh, I wasn't thinking about the old color wheel. Although, it's kind of crazy crazy enough to be funky wild. I don't know. Undecided on that one. Anyway, okay, let's go. Um, let's try to pull this one out of the hole with some black. Now let's do a little bit of black on this one. That'll get me black on the plate. I've used enough PBOs. I've got enough design down there to show you my patina print. So what I like to do, as many of you know, is I like to do a little pop of black over top of my designs. Like, I mean, that's pretty cool on its own, but watch what a pop of black does to that. This one... All right, it was cool on its own as the green. Then I added the turquoise and kind of mugged it up a little bit. It's not a clear... The designs overlap too much, I guess. It's not a clear... Um, I don't know. Not a clear image of each. And maybe, actually, some people might love that. But it wasn't what was in my head, so... Eh, not my favorite. So let us find... A good pop of black stencil here. And when I say that, I'm looking for one that has just a fine line on it that's that's through the stencil, like maybe this one. Let's use a grid dot. Okay, so I'm going to put a layer of black on my plate. Get on there. Brayer that. 
Now when I do a, if you've looked at any of my older videos, when I first started messing with the plate, when I do a cleanup print, I make sure the, the, paint, the paint that is on the plate is dry. However, comma, when I do a patina print, I want the leftover paint on the plate to still be wet. And that's the difference of what, what makes the magic happen. <laughs> Watch, I'll totally hose it up. You'll be saying, what the hell is she talking about? Magic. Okay, here we go. Going in for some black. And these have this grid dot is the name of this stencil that I'm using. Um, that has finer lines in it, so I'm trying to guess where those patterns are and push you know, up and down like those L-shaped intersections of that grid, forming the grid. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, stuck to my hand. Ooh, cool. Now, as you can see, it looks quite lovely. I like it, and I think that black just really adds something, something on there that kind of ties it all together pushes the orange and the green into the background, right? I like it. Okay, let's put that to the side. And what I'm doing when I'm doing my pop of black, instead of doing the cleanup prints and all that stuff, what I'm going to do is um, I am going to, I'm trying to decide which stencil, this one, I probably should do this again on this, on this piece as far as design. Instead of cleaning any of that off, you can see the design kind of imprinted in there. I'm just going to add a little bit more because now I only need a little bit of paint. That was the tube, not the artist. Um, add a little bit more on here because I'm just going to go black over black over black for when I'm, I usually finish all my colored work first and then I go back and decide what needs a little papa and then smack a little papa down on it. Is that wet? Of course it is. Oh, look at you. I'm going to get my print all smeared up. Well, my buyer rhythms must be off. Hosing everything up. I touched. Oh, my God. I did it again. Okay. Well, let's carry on, shall we? And act like we didn't see that little faux pas over there. A little pop on here. And let's get down to the, the point of this whole deal. So you have to have this kind of build up on your plate and get to the black part for this patina deal to come off. Okay, to me that looks a little bit better because it pushes all that mishmash back, right? And it's just, um, I don't know, it makes my eye more happy. I like happy eyes. Okay, now I am going to uh, just do a cleanup print through the stencil, try to get rid of some of that paint that's in the holes of the stencil, because what I want to have happen is when I lay down some PBOs on top of this wet black, I want it to come all the way through the plate I don't want it to be all black on the bottom. I show you, hang on. All right, just clean that up a little bit. Now you can see where I've got the black off of there mostly. So, patina print step one completed. I'm gonna take, this is blue green and green yellow. They'll work together nicely. I'm gonna get rid of the stencil. And I actually take the stencil kind of off to the side and blot it with a piece of paper because I'm not, I don't want to do my sandwich now and lose what I got. I want that to be on the plate and wet. And look at all that extra paint on there. Oh, mercy. Throw that baby to the side. 
And now, since there's a good bit of black paint on there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift off some with the brayer. With the brayer, you can put down paint, spread it around, but if it's already down, your brayer's clean, you can kind of give it one sweep and get some of that off of there. And of course, it'll roll out the design. See the design coming off my brayer? It's kind of cool. Now I'm going to take some, excuse me, mm, again, not the artist. That's enough. I'm getting ridiculous on this use of paint. Spread this over the wet black paint. All right. I'm going to go back and pull some of that off. See where the see where the um, the PBOs are kind of nesting in those patterns of the stencil. Good lord! But you need to do this even if you put a normal amount of paint on to make it work right. Okay. Stop before I really hose up the whole production here. And I fear this is the only place it's going to come out really good, but we'll see. So, put down my piece of paper, give it a good zhuzh. Now, I don't have to let this stay on the plate and push as hard as I do for one of my cleanup prints that literally sucks almost every molecule of paint off of it. And that's working with dry paint, wet on dry. This is wet on wet. So because it's wet on wet, the design's going to get smushed a little bit. It's going to get like blurred lines, not like Robin Thicke and Miley Cyrus, but the other kind of blurred lines and look kind of old. Look at the, what the hell? Let's see what we got. Did it work? Not my greatest effort at all, but I'm going to show you anyway kind of how it should look. The one I did that I was trying to find for you is like this all over the page. It was gorgeous. Um, but anyway, that kind of gives you a little bit of patina. But, just, but wait, let me go try to redeem myself here. Hold that thought. Let's do another little papa on something else, even if it's not something that I... <laughs> Gotta get a new tube of black. Alright. Let's do dangles. This is my pattern called dangles. It's inspired by my little Zendangles that I drew by hand and made that one. So let's put you on anything. We don't care what it goes on. Let's put it on this one. This is a lot of long vertical line, so that's why I'm rubbing the way I'm rubbing. I'm trying to pick that up. Ew! How cute are you? So there's dangles over that. Look at that PBO hitting there. Oh! Lights it up. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to do a cleanup. I'm just going to use this, right, and try to get as much of the paint out of those stencil holes as I can. I may get a full print, a full ghost, I may not. At this point I'm more concerned about what's left on the plate than what kind of print I pull. Because it can come up really cool if you get it just right. Oh, almost got another full print out of that. Okay, but and see all the white space left here? That's what I want. So, 
I'm going to pull that up. And because I didn't put as much black down there, I'm not going to use the brayer this time and pick up more black. Don't need to. But I am going to use more of this. Is this, what is this? This is blue green. Is this green blue? No, that's blue green. There's opposing colors and you can't hardly tell the difference. But in the tube, they look very similar. One's blue green and one's green blue. So I'm going to mix those up and a little bit of green yellow in there. Oh, mercy. I think that's the one I like better anyway. Just a little bit of you. A couple little squidges of you. That ought to do it. Okay. Going in for demo number two. Come on. Work for me, baby. Get some of that off. Over here. Oh, see that? Coming up like that? That's what I'm looking for. This should be a pretty good one. Oh, I forgot to pick my, clean my stencil off. Too many moving parts. The old girls get kind of old for this stuff. Let me, I wouldn't normally do it this way. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I will be using that piece. Here we go. Now he's talking. This is more what I wanted to try to show you. How that PBO drops in the hollow points, right, of that print. And now, huh, let us take a clean sheet of paper and try to grab, what the hell is that? Looks like plastic falling somewhere. Let's see what we get with this. And I'm going to just to try to get a nice even print, I'm going to use this, and I don't care what's on the back. I really don't care. Okay. Let's hope for yummy. That's a little better. There we go. Now, hopefully you can see how that kind of looks like patina, wrought iron, metal, copper, how it changes with the weather um, and aging and exposure to salt water and rain and all that good stuff. And it looks very brassy, ironish, green, copper, patina, kind of all mixed up in one. That, my friends, is what I call my patina prints. Look at some of this texture up here. I'm loving the zoom on this camera, so I'm... And that's done with the dangle stencil. Pretty cool. If I get, oops, and there I go, throwing it across the room. A lot of little... A lot of textury stuff. I mean, it really looks like it's old aged metal. Um, see the difference in the green blue and the blue green? I don't know if you guys can pick that up or not. It's really apparent here. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it? Lordy. Not as nimble as the old girl once was. So there you go, my friends. You know what? I'm going to pick up this too because I can see some little bits down here. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let that dry. And we'll see what kind of cleanup print that gives me. So I'll show you the difference. You can't hate that, people. I'm just saying. You can't hate it. That's pretty cool. Um, and here's the first one I did. Not pretty cool, but you can see where... You know, it was starting to work down here. I just had too much damn paint on the plate. When will I learn? It's like I can't control myself. I'm blowing on it. Where's my hot flash fan? Oh, here's my fan. Hang on. I'll turn the fan on. 
that that helped cool that off a minute. While I look for my favorite cleanup print paint, which I don't know that it makes that much of a big deal, but I like it because I like it to be something other than just stark white, especially with these colors. I like to use, where the hell is it? Here we go. Golden's Titan Buff Fluid. That's what I like to use. So I'll take a minute here because once I pull this print, I'm going to shut this puppy down. 40 minutes. Are you freaking kidding me for one little demo? Oh, well. Anyway, um, instead of waiting until the end, I'll remind you um, to check out my uh, Facebook art page, Inky Obsessions. That's where I post just about everything I do first. Uh, my blog is on Blogspot. It's inky, inkyobsessions.blogspot.com. I really don't post there as much as I should. I don't have any time. Um, and on Etsy, uh, Inky Obsessions. My rubber stamps you'll find on Etsy. That's what I was going to show you. Oh. That's one set. See the Orbit? And you saw me use none of those other designs. Um, you saw me use Outback. There's the Outback stamp. Um, the grid dot stamp. And then the other one, I have a third set that's come out that's not for sale yet when I get back from Jersey. I'll be selling it in Jersey, but it won't be on my Etsy shop until I get back. And this is set number three. will look like that. You'll see the dangles uh, stamp. Some hand-drawn poppies. Another Outback that I'm calling Outback River. All these hand-drawn pictographs. The tribal squares on a border. Right? And some of the stencils haven't been released yet. Stay tuned. Hopefully they're coming in August-ish time frame. Okay, I think this is wet. I think we can finish up. 45 minutes. Can I do it? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so this is pretty dry. I'm going to go with just some Titan Buff. Kind of a thinner layer of that. Get that all spread out all over here. And what looks really cool is if you do this through a stencil, but then you have the reverse left, and then you can keep going all night long. And tonight I don't want to do that because I am pooped. We've had two weekends, two weddings in a row. My niece Chelsea on the 21st, and we went to the Poconos for my friend Casey's this past weekend. Just got home yesterday evening. It was about a five-hour drive. Big girl's little dragon, got to tell you. Okay, so here we go. Oh, why did I do that? That was so pretty. Oh, you dumbass. So I'm going to take a clean piece of cardstock. And I'm going to put it down here. And I'm really, 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 really going to push hard on this. Not at first. Because this is my bigger plate. See it squidging out here? All right. So you guys will have uh, the 8x10 plate most likely. That's the, the most popular one. And you won't have that problem because the paper will overhang a little bit. But I'm going to push pretty hard now on this, now that I've made contact with the whole paper. And I'm going to get the old trusty tolly thumb knuckle in there. My double jointed thumb comes in handy. <laughs> and push really hard with that thumb knuckle. I want to marry that wet paint to the dry paint enough that it's going to stick to the paper and suck right off that plate. Oh, look at the smears. Good thing I don't care about the back of this. I let this sit on here longer because I really want that adherence. I'll try to edit a lot of this and um, speed it up at least so you don't have to be painfully wait for 45 minutes for a, a little mini technique like this. Okay, I'm going to peek. Peeking is allowed in this. You can peek and see if you're getting everything. And it looks like I am. So I'm going to go for it. 
pull that clean plate all the paints on here you can see where it picked up some of that dangles and the PBO shining through there where the hell are we here we go see all that goodness in there little specks all the way through it of the PBOs and the little vertical line hints in there you can even see some very faint shadows of the other uh, stencils that are layered down into this but um, that's rather patina-ish in its own way isn't it kind of like old funky paint on a wall so there we go try some patina prints babies I think you'll like it all right that's it I'm out Patty Tally Parish. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.